Hello and welcome to Quick and Creepy, where the killers come to you. In 1978, the people of Columbus, Ohio were under siege. An unknown killer had been forcing their way into homes and murdering those they found inside. It was not until those responsible were caught the residents of Columbus would learn that there was not one killer but two brothers. Gary, Lewington, and Thaddeus, Lewington, the 22 caliber killers. Thaddeus was born on December 22, 1936. His brother Gary was born on February 14, 1940. Thaddeus would eventually get married after graduating from the Cleveland Institute of Electronics and had three children. Gary joined the military after high school and served in Vietnam. He resigned from his position after four years and then moved home to live with his mother. Gary did not fare well after leaving the Air Force and was arrested repeatedly for a variety of crimes. His brother Thaddeus held a stable job at Columbus Steel Drum Company, but began to unravel after being divorced from his wife in 1977. Soon thereafter, the two conspired to go on a crime spree. The first murder that alerted police to the presence of a serial killer took place in February of 1978. Someone broke into the home of Robert McCann. They proceeded to kill Robert, his mother Dorothy, and his girlfriend Christine Herdsman with a 22 caliber weapon, shooting each in the head repeatedly. Initially, police suspected robbery to be the killer's motive, but this assumption faded as the murders continued. The next to die at the hands of these sick individuals was a 77-year-old man named Jenkins Jones in April. He was shot like the previous victims and his four dogs had also been killed. Later in April, Reverend Gerald Fields was murdered while he worked as a security guard. And less than a month later the killers forced their way into the home of Jerry and Martha Martin and killed the husband and wife. Residue found around their wounds showed that they had been killed by gunshots to the head at close range. It was at this point police compared the ballistics of the bullets found at the crime scenes to those from the murders of Joyce Vermillion and Karen Dodrell in Newark, Ohio in late 1977. The two had been leaving their jobs at a restaurant when they were gunned down. The police had found a match and two more were added to the tally of victims. The final victim was a 56-year-old named Joseph Anik. He was ambushed in his garage and shot nine times on December 4, 1978. His wallet was missing. This time the ballistics were different than the other murders, however the pattern of the crime was so similar to the prior killings that police were certain that the same killer was responsible. Four days after the last murder there was a break in the case. A 38-year-old man named Gary Lewington was arrested after trying to use Joseph Anik's credit card. His prior criminal record was extensive and started after he was discharged from the Air Force in 1962. He had been arrested for larceny, indecent exposure, and possession of burglary tools, but most importantly he had been arrested for carrying an illegally concealed firearm. He had not been convicted but the pattern of crime was well established. Under questioning, Gary quickly confessed to the murders that had been attributed to the killer known as the 22 caliber killer. He also implicated his brother Thaddeus as his partner in the murder spree. When police recovered the guns used in the crimes, they discovered that they had been stolen from a gun shop just a month before the waitresses were killed in 1977. On February 19, 1979, Thaddeus was convicted for the murders of Joyce Vermillion, Karen Dodrell, and Jenkins Jones. Then in March he was convicted for the murders of the McCanns and the Martins. In total he received six life sentences. Gary went to trial for all ten homicides in May of 1979 but was only convicted in eight of the murders. He was sentenced to eight life sentences to be served consecutively along with a $43,000 fine. Gary died in prison on October 24, 2004. His brother Thaddeus had died behind bars in April 1989.